CCIE or die.com. I'm Artek, and this is CCNP Switch 300 115 1.5b Layer 2, Layer 3. Surprisingly enough, the Switch blueprint only mentions routed ports in the Ether Channel section, and not even a nod to Switch virtual interfaces. So let's fix that. First, we'll go over routed ports, then SVIs, and finish up with more Ether Channel. The certification guides and foundation learning guides are indispensable throughout the certification process. And while the blueprint is a great roadmap, it may not mention everything. So you do need a bit of everything, and for that, there's the whole internet out there. Let's talk about multi-layer switching. Multi-layer switching is what it says it is. Switches can support more layers than just layer two. Simply put, the switch is a router. So let's start with a routed port. Remember to turn on IP routing globally for layer three functionality. We can test that with show IP route or look and show run. And we currently don't have IP routing enabled. Config T IP routing, that's simple enough. Do show IP route. Excellent, go to switch two. Show IP route. Nope, config T IP routing do show IP route. Excellent. So let's level the playing field. Default interface F0 slash 23 to 24. And then no VLAN 2 to 1001. Do the same on switch 1. Default interface range F0 slash 23 to 24 and no VLAN 2 to 1001. It's easier to whack the VLANs that way than to delete VLAN dot that and reload. So there we have it. Now let's make interface F0 slash 23 our routed in interface between the two, two switches. And that's simple enough. Just go to interface F0 slash 23. And the big command is no switch port. And we'll command completion there. And give it an IP address. IP address 192.168.10.1255.255.255.0. And don't forget to no shut. We defaulted the interface. And interface F0 zero slash 23 no switch port IP address 192.168.10.2255.255.255.0 no shut and now let's ping between the two do ping 192.168 dot ten dot one and after arp twos on it for a bit there we have it do show IP interface brief one of my favorite commands and if we look down towards the bottom you'll see there it is up and up so that's a routed port between two switches now let's default interface range f0 slash 23 to 24 and do the same on switch one default Interface F0 slash 23 to 24. Good. And now we're going to talk about SVIs. Multiple access ports can be assembled into one VLAN and share a common gateway address to other Layer 3 capable devices. That really just describes switch virtual interfaces. So let's make an SVI. There are three hallmarks of SVI creation. They are make a VLAN make an interface VLAN and assign it an IP address and turn it up with no shut. And finally, make sure to assign at least one port to the VLAN. So let's try that. VLAN. Actually, before we do that, let's go to interface range F0 slash 23 to 24. Switch port trunk end cap dot one Q because we want to support more than one VLAN. Switch port mode trunk and simply trunking on with no negotiation. Let's do that on switch to interface range F0 slash 23 to 24. Switch port trunk end cap dot 1Q. Switch port mode 
trunk and do show interface trunk just to check it out and there we have it so let's start building the VLAN again VLAN 10 and we'll exit VLAN database mode so it writes it to VLAN dot that and then we'll interface VLAN 10 IP address 192.168.10.1 255.255.255.0 no shut and then we need to light up interface f0 slash 10 a port switch port mode access switch port access vlan 10 and you see the vlan came up so we satisfied those conditions for the svi we'll do the same thing over on switch 2 vlan 10 Exit to write it to VLAN database and then interface VLAN 10. IP address 192.168.10.2.255.255.255.0. No shut. Then interface F0 slash 10. Switch port mode access. Switch port access VLAN 10 and it just came up so do ping 192.168.10.1 after an ARP we should get it and there it is excellent do show IP interface brief and we can see VLAN 10 is up and up or interface VLAN 10 I should say so let's now default interface range F0 slash 23 to 24. So the same on switch 2. We're not going to get rid of the VLAN, but we will get rid of interface VLAN 10. Default interface range F0 slash 23 to 24. And no interface VLAN 10 because it has the IP address on it no interface vlan 10 on the other switch and now since we defaulted the trunks we're going to have to bring them up again interface range f0 slash 23 to 24 switch port trunk end cap dot 1q switch port mode trunk we're simply making a layer 2 ether channel and the same thing on switch 2 interface range f0 slash 23 to 24 switch port trunk end cap dot 1q switch port mode trunk excellent now do let's see right we we want to make the layer 2 ether channel so channel g or group one mode on and it came up channel g1 mode on right do show ether channel sum and there's our layer two ether channel so now we get to the layer three ether channel again we'll default interface range f0 slash 23 to 24 because it's a little bit different interface range default default interface range f0 slash 23 to 24 good that's good so now we need to go back to the interface ranges and this is an order of operation thing and I find that this is the best the best way to do it let's make sure we've no interface PO1 right get rid of that to no interface PO1 and just do show IP interface brief to make sure we have any IPs hanging out there unnecessarily let's double check here do show IP interface brief on switch one okay so interface range f0 slash 23 to 24 I want 
to uh, here we'll do it interface range f0 slash 23 to 24 and we we are going to make them no switch port on the physical interfaces and then we're going to assign the channel channel g1 mode and we'll just make it on and it's going to bundle them interface range f0 slash 23 to 24 channel no switch port first channel g1 mode on and now we'll go to the port channel interface to give it the ip address and this is interface po1 right and let's let's shut it first and i'm going to do that to this one to interface po1 and we'll shut it before we give the IP addresses. IP address 192.168.10.1255.255.255.0. Good. And we'll do the other one before we no shut it. IP address 192.168.10.2. Whoops, we got the wrong address on the first one. IP address 192.168.10.1255.255.255.0 better go back over here and this one is two two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero we get duplicates on that and then i want to i'm going to no shut them together because i'm insane like that and here we go and hopefully we'll catch it real quick enter and do show hey it's looking good do show ether channel sum and they're both up and as you can see it's a routed a routed port channel 